I have a rose! A ri rise? Risen? R yeah. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another unboxing! Pretty good one! I'm excited for this one! I didn't even think Mattel was gonna make something like this. Especially as it, you know, Lost World. Does anybody care about the Lost World? I care. Anyway, today we're gonna be looking at a vehicle set that comes with a character and this vehicle has had a thing in the past. Anyway, without all that being said, without further ado, the beautiful assistant. Ah, there she is. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Ah! All right then, how you get? See you later, bye. Oh, thank God she's gone. Now we can play with the toys. Oh, Mixie's here. You're adoring public Mixie. Although you're kind of not in the, sh okay, you're definitely not in the shot. Max, have you got anything to say to your adoring fans? No. All right, anyway, I forgot this thing actually had a T-Rex in it, strangely enough. This is the Tyrannosaurus Rex Ambush Pack. When I went to Smith's and I was looking for things that they'd sort of, I don't know, new things, I did not expect to see the Mercedes-Benz at all, ever again. So I'm super excited to get into this guy. It also comes with a T-Rex and an Ian Malcolm. It's one of the only times I'm more excited for the vehicle than the dinosaur or the action figure. Right then, let's get me trusty tools out. <laughs> Wait a minute. There's no sound tape on this. <laughs> You're facing the wrong way, microphone. Is it just glue? Ooh, okay, okay. A thin bit of glue. I don't mind. Talk about a thin bit of glue. Yeah, okay. That, yeah, I'll happily take that. <laughs> Will it all come out one piece? Ooh, sounds like when you're on holiday and you take your luggage over the air and travel out of things. Lovely! <laughs> <laughs> Even the car has little footsie locks. There's another T-Rex that we've seen a million times. <laughs> but then this, and this. Ooh, yes. Go on, Jeff. We'll get you out of there, son. Come on, hit. We'll get you out of there one way or another. Or in one piece or another. <laughs> Come on up, you gum! Yay! He's free! Sarah! Always Sarah with you, isn't it? Time to move on! On the bloody doors? You've put clips on the doors? Come on! You put locking mechanisms on the vehicle doors! Damn it! <laughs> You're a thing of beauty! Right. Let's start with the most boring, shall we? The T-Rex. Normally, as a kid especially, I wouldn't really say that this is the most boring bit. We have another T-Rex with not a single toe or fingernail painted exactly the way I like them. All right, what can I say? It's another turtleneck T-Rex. It has the, um, oh, that's actually pretty solid. Yeah, cartoony teeth, uh, some little action there. You know, really, we're, we're all getting it for this. We're all getting it for the car. This is just like a consolation, we got to. Also, will this one have its DNA code? Aha, it does! Go on, kids, scan the code now! I will say, the head sculpt actually, yeah. Head sculpt looks a bit different from the other T-Rexes and noticeably different. It's far shorter if you get a, get a frontal view of those eyes. I can't tell if he's looking at me or Whitney. <laughs> Not bad articulation. Again, it's just another turtleneck T-Rex. And if we're going to be honest, it's a very poor attempt at making it look like a bull T-Rex. Apart from the sculpt, from the paint job is what I'm trying to say. It's green and then they added... I, <laughs> they got very close to the, uh, <laughs> the, the model with the airbrush and went... There you go. That, that, that's how you can differentiate this one from a Jurassic Park one, aside from the colour. Bit of a shame. There has been some underbelly, but just just on the mouth, not, not on the rest of it. In fact, they've lovingly kept its serial number there. This one being 13530BV. Now on to the main event, kind of. Ian Malcolm, because we never really get to see Ian Malcolm, you know, 
outside of his leather jacket and sunglasses. And here we are with a Lost World rendition. The only problem is that, well, doesn't really look like Ian Malcolm. I'll give a credit, you know, the jacket is a bit like, you know, Tim's when we got this other the Explorer playset. He also came with a jacket that was rubbery, so that's quite nice. To me, it doesn't really look like Ian Malcolm. <laughs> And they've got some pretty accurate head sculpts. Or maybe I just need to rewatch The Lost World. That could also be the case. This is all I care about. We have only ever had one rendition of the Mercedes, and it looks glorious. It's so freaking good. This thing. If you remember, it's it's the classic car from when Eddie Carr got ripped apart above it with the two T-Rexes. It was the one that tried to free the RV when it was hanging off the edge. And it's so, apart from the RV itself, it's so freaking iconic. And we only got one in 1997, but let's have a look at this guy. You actually have a removable back bit. Check it, removable back bit, removable. Back bit is so good! Because in the concept art, there was actually a Mercedes Benz that had like a cage that uh, a person could hide in while like scoping out for dinosaurs, like a safari. And um, I don't even know if the one that was in the movie ever had this bit removed. It always had the back of it on. But we actually get that option. It's so freaking good. Not only that, but its interior has also been well designed. And if I can get them open, it's freaking doors open. Well, it's a bit hard. And I guess it's supposed to be with the uh, supposed know. to keep dinosaurs out. <laughs> I guess I'm old. <laughs> Gorgeous, well sculpted, it doesn't need lights, it doesn't need, you know, any extra things to bump up the price, it doesn't need stickers, as long as it's molded there. Something I would have killed for as a kid. The bars on the windows, it's not just like paint on the windows, they've actually put extra bits of plastic on there to really just fill that aesthetic. Also, you've got a little lid on the top, so you can have, where are Ian? You can have Ian or any other plethora of characters from the Lost World sort of looking out to get munched on by a T-Rex. That's more like it, there we go. Oh, I mean, technically it doesn't have dino damage, but you could have the T-Rex sort of attack the vehicle, grab hold of the side of the thing and then rip it off and then rah, get the rest of the car, flip it up and rah, shake it. Might be wondering why I'm not using the other T-Rex. The T-Rex <laughs> That little bit of playtime I did with that T-Rex, it's um, it's paint, the rubber paint on its teeth. I've already marked the glass. Well, that's clever of me, isn't it? <laughs> it's all wounds. It even has a little bit here, like a little hole for you to put in <laughs> Malcolm on it. So we can do a spread starfish Tarzan and call out to the local dinosaurs in the area to let them know he's a kebab ready to be eaten. So we have, what I can only consider the best lost world vehicle in existence from Mattel. However, we've got some old vintage nostalgia, you know, lingering in the back of our minds. How does it compare to the original Mercedes that it's based off of? Well, let's take a look. Work, oh God, this is hella dusty. Okay, excuse the dust, right? I had to go in my parents' attic last a minute and fish it out of a toy box. I, this one I got on eBay ages ago. It never came with all its parts, but basically it had a thing that went over the top that shone lights. This I think was a gun where you put the missiles in and it had something else like a satellite that came out. But the best part about it wasn't all of that cool jazz. It was actually the front bit. Cause if you got a patchy cephalosaurus, codename Ramhead, put its head in, Put it towards it! Action shot, Whitney! Action shot! Yeah! It would completely take off the front uh, in a dramatic style. It was so freaking cool. And I mean, you could pretty much just do that on command. Just, yeah. You get bored of life. You want to feel alive for a second. But life's going nowhere. I'm stuck in a dead end job. There's no, there's no way out for me. I feel better now. It also has, and we'll, we'll take the beautiful uh, hang glider Ian Malcolm out there. Again, doesn't look like Ian Malcolm. 
also has the glasses on for some odd reason while he would be hang gliding. Just like the other one, you got little holes. So you could stick a dude on, the sign is like, whoa. It might be smaller, but the fact that the green on it just looks far more screen accurate. The whole, it's a unit. This thing is a unit. This, they took the Mercedes, they, you know, they tweaked it, they made it, they Kennerized it, they made it playable, they made it action. Whereas this one, they didn't have to make the front destroyable. In fact, you can use this as a destruction damage if you really wanted to. You've also got a little people, so you know, if things are in there and they want to just sneak out the character's menu, put them back in, then crawl from the front. Actually, the wing mirrors have stickers on them. Get a good shot of that sticky. See it? It's got a sticker on it. And not only that, all the lights on top have stickers on them to make it look like they're actually lights. This one, yes, it did have batteries. Yes, it did have a light system on top and probably put up pictures of what it would look like before. Well, as you can see, the same plastic damage that I've just done on that one. Oh, there it is. And it's got a whole lot more dust. <laughs> but really, like most of the time, I am able to go, you know what? No, this is way better. But it just isn't. Like, just from all perspective, this thing is just gorgeous. The undercarriage. No detail, nothing. This one, nah, freaking did it. I think Universal got permission from Mercedes because they have the Mercedes logo on the front as well. I mean, what other, maybe you put a winch on it, you know, like Eddie Carr did and pull that out. Apart from that, it's just a nitpick, really. This thing's awesome. But in the Lost World, there was more than just one vehicle. Apart from the RV set that I'm kind of saving for a special occasion to get out of the box, there was another one that I never had and actually didn't know existed because I think in the UK it was super rare and we're about to find out why. Sarah! Sarah Kelly! Why are all these women in my life cause me problems? This is the Hummer or the Humvee as it was called and it is glorious. Get a lovely close up. It was the thing that the hunters used and it was a unit. And if we look at the back, you can actually see what the, uh, what was it called? The ground tracker all-terrain vehicle. In case I didn't put up images of it, that's it. It had a stand, it had lights, and it had some sort of shooty thing. Apart from the LV, this in my books is the second best vehicle that Kenna released for the Lost World line. But I don't just have the box, we have the real thing. Bam! Look at that! That is glorious. This thing is massive. We bring up the Mercedes there and it fits in with it so well. It's so good. Uh, but I mean, just to get the sheer scale of it, that's it side by side. This thing, I mean, it's a Hummer, right? It's supposed to be so big. What you would do is you would have hunters in the seat and then you could bring them up and they could, they have like taser things up and then you fall out and they would stab it. It also had this cool locking mechanism. So we can get Ian Malcolm in there and let's say it rams into him and then BAM! We've got him! And just like in the movie... And then, you can actually unattach this thing, have it on the side, and then clip it... in there! And you could just drive him away, and you've got yourself a lovely Jeff Goldblum! But it had a gun on the top, you had these things that, like, these, I don't know what you'd even call them, these fences that come out the side, it's got like a crow's nest, there's stickers in the middle, it's gorgeous! I find myself giving it all these praises, and yet I look at it, and it's just missing something. It's not a good guy. And the Mercedes in the movie, it was a good guy. So, just any excuse to get this thing out. It is freaking fantastic. I love it. This is my love letter, or message, I suppose, to Mattel. Since you're starting to recreate them, you did it with Roland Tembo, with his little thing. I haven't actually reviewed on the channel. I do have it. But then you've also got the Mercedes. You're going to keep on doing this. Don't forget the Humvee. And I hope you do not forget the RV either. That thing. Put that on Mattel Creations. I'll back it. I'll, I'll back 5,000 of them if you need to be. In conclusion, how does the Mercedes or the Ambush Attack Set or Tyrannosaurus Rex Ambush Attack Set stand up? On its own, beautiful. And also comparing it to its ancestor, it far surpasses it. I mean, aside from the amazing... <laughs> it just gives me life! And the best of the best that Kenna has to offer, it fits in. It is a marvel. I would buy 5,000. No, I wouldn't. I'd buy one, or maybe two. In conclusion, I highly recommend this toy. It gives you everything you need from a vehicle, even if you're not a big fan of the Lost World. It's just a jungle 
themed car. I cannot recommend it enough and I'm so glad that Mattel has created something like this. And if you have enjoyed this video, leave a like and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye bye Now it's time for the crash test! Woo!